Yeah. Hi, my name is Tona Tellison Hughes and I'm going to do some exercises to help you to increase the range of movement of your shoulder. This can be really helpful if you've had an injury, you've had a frozen shoulder or you feel that you're getting wear and tear and restriction in your shoulder joint. So firstly, you need to stand in front of a mirror uh, with your shoulders relaxed, hold one hand on your shoulder and the idea is to help you to raise your arm without raising the shoulder. Imagine that you have a blowtorch coming from underneath here, blowing your arm up. So allow your book to your, or you can also imagine that you have a helium balloon attached to your arm. So imagine that your arm is just floating up, you're hardly using any muscles at all. But what you want to avoid is for that to happen. So imagine it blowing up, floating up, and feel how this muscle is nice and relaxed. And come down again. You want to do this two, three times on each side. Just let it float. It's a wonderfully relaxing feeling and come down. You can equally do this forward. But keep holding your hand here and look at yourself in the mirror. So let it float up. And again, you want to avoid that happening. So bring it forward and do this on both sides. The next exercise is called a pendulum. And again, what you want to do is to increase range of movement of your shoulder slowly and make your brain believe that you can do more than it thinks that you can do now. You start with a slow movement from the inside, slowly making the movement and the circle bigger and bigger. When you come to as far as you can, where you feel pain, you go back slowly and retrace your step back, all the way back to the center. You can do this forwards as well, slow pendulum movement forwards to where you feel the restriction and the pain and then you trace your way back again. You can do this forward as well. So this way you will increase, you will work on all the areas of the shoulder. The other way is to stand in front of a wall and hold your hand at the bottom of the wall and your fingers will crawl up like a spider against a wall as far as you can. If you can come to here and you feel pain, crawl back. Now you're training your brain to think that you can do more and then crawl up and usually you can come a little bit higher but you must make sure you're not doing this too fast and you can do this sideways as well crawl up to where you feel your pain and the restriction crawl down and go up my suggestion is that you do this three or four times exercise should never be too long and too repetitive but it should be just enough so that it gets done and, and you will remember it and it's not too laborious have fun with this thank you